Okay, I'm quite keen to share my <laughs> my noodlings over here with you and to get some feedback and comments. Uh, what I'm doing is I've taken the, the book that they're using for the grade 10 music studies for the subject lads and I'm busy trying to make it more interactive so you can sort of understand the values of the different notes, how they grow. I've tied it in with mathematics, that's why I said think fractions. Uh, well, this is my little take, but what I want to show you that is that everything's interactive. So, so for example, they want to know what a note looks like. They can just click on the note and it gives them a detailed breakdown. If they want to know what the rest is, they can click on the rest. gives them a breakdown. Now, just to take you through the system and the thinking of the whole thing, let's start at the at your semi brief your whole note. If you click on there. And what's the maths over here? Like basically, 1 over 1 is a whole note. So I'm trying to get the basic primary school fractions. The kids can do some bond with that. Um, these are things that <laughs> so comments are welcome. But check the 2 over 2, 4 over 4, 8 over 8. Basically, trying to bring the, the math value into the note value and then attaching a symbol, basically, which we want to know. We want to recognize what the symbol is. So if I go through now on my index over here, obviously, just watch the mouse as I'm scrolling across. If I go from the whole notes to the half notes, watch what happens over here and underneath. I'm going to click now, and you can see the difference. So basically what I'm doing over here is I'm trying to show how that every time a note is halved, it gets its value, it gets its name, how many there are of the notes, sort of a breakdown like that. And obviously it shows in the grouping of the notes how to count 4-4. Four, four. And I've kept it 4-4 four, four for most of this study. Obviously I'm going to take it into 3-4 and explain 6-8 and all the rest of that. But this is just to get the basic intro, hoping that from here on the kids know that they the note values are. And again, also, if they want to go from, say, for example, quarter notes, and I say, gee, what about the rest? Click on the rest, and it explains it. What does the rest mean? Again, it goes through the same sort of avenue, sort of same logic. You can see the notes over here. As I click across, sort of builds itself so they can understand the value of the notes as they go along. Also, if they want to know what a dot is, add the dot. It explains the maths behind adding a dot explains in 4-4 four, four why you'd need, for example, to have the extra one over there to complete the bar, just to get some basic foundation on node values and filling up a 4-4 four, four bar for grouping and that as well. And it gives examples. So again, if you want to compare the quarter note, and it gives all the mathematical fractions. And then wherever you are, if you're busy working with eighth notes and you go back, you go back to the eighth notes. And you come back to the index. So I'll be quite keen. What are your comments on this? Will this maybe help a little bit? <laughs> And uh, yeah, let me know. Thank you. Cheers.